the presentation is about the work that I've been conducting on the analysis of the company Maven Fuzzy Factory database. Uh, since I've been hired at the company, I, my job has been that of studying and optimizing the database. And today we will provide, present actionable insights to improve the business and drive more success to our company. So we have started using the Maven Fuzzy Factory database and analyzed that by, with MySQL, leveraging on concept that all of us can be familiar with, the SQL statements, joints and unions, and temporary tables. Um, first of all, we should give an, a, a brief analysis of the database, which is in its structure, basically simple, contains much of the information needed to run the business. But in my opinion, we are not tracking at all the user's information. So we should add a user table where we can store their data in respect of the privacy law and maps their habits and demographics. So age, location, and so on. Uh, we have some redundant data, in my opinion, which might eventually slow down performances in the long term. Um, and we would like, I would like to normalize the tables, introducing, for example, a product history table and move the price information from that place to um, a single individual table where you can have all the information and fetch from them. Uh, there are no specific relations created uh, in between the tables. So we basically, we don't have any primary or foreign key. So we have to define them uh, to optimize uh, both performance and the speed of the queries. We will present shortly the EER diagram. So the enhanced entity relationship to understand the structure. And today is not the scope of the presentation, but we would, I would like to introduce as well an inventory uh, to monitor how the stocks of our inventory run. So to not find ourselves unprepared when there are peak season and uh, or if we want to run some seasonality studies or promotion. So in the EER diagram on the left, you have the SEs. So we have the whole tables not related to each other. So my first task has been that to identifying which were the primary keys and foreign keys. So the keys that are individual and unique to each table and which relate to the other tables. Introduce some changes to the existing tables and add the new ones that I suggested. So you can see the white one, the yellow ones are the one not modified. Only primary and foreign keys have been added. The orange are the modified type tables and the purple are the other ones. Um, the most important thing though has been that of analyzing if our uh, business is moving forward, is, if it is profitable or not. So we can run analysis on session and conversion rate. So we have seen that the company has been growing steadily in the last three years with a peak in uh, last December in terms of session. But also we can see that this uh, year to date, we have grown to a conversion rate of 9% past month, February. And this month, March, we are on the 19th, so only two thirds into the month. We have already a 2.5% increase of the conversion rate respect to the previous year. So at 8.3, with almost the same number of session and an outstanding 17.7% increase on orders. So we can see that we have been doing very well. Each launch of new products, as we can see on the left hand side table, has achieved good results by helping us increase in either um, sessions or conversion rate. So that is a very good thing for our business. And we can see that in the month of March, we have been steadily growing from 2012 when we started up to 2013 when 15 where we are now. In terms of the year-over-year -year growth of the product sale, which is also interesting, uh, we can see that Mr. Fuzzy, our first product, is still our best seller and has almost doubled sales since past year. Birthday Bear is growing really, really interesting and fast since it has reached the same sales volumes approximately of Love Bear in just 12 months. 
Lovebird is the only product that shows some uh, seasonality trend, which is connected to the Valentine's Day in February. So we should take a look at how to um, exploit this seasonality in order to be more effective. In terms of profitability, the company is extremely profitable. We have an average profit margin of 57%, which means the ratio between the revenues and the overall cost, including um, the refunds. We have an average 60% growth in the first quarter of 2016. 15, and so this makes it our best quarter ever. So we should just be happy, but not satisfied because we still have a little bit of an issue with refunds. We have an average refund rate of 4.9% overall. We have been highly fast in responding to challenges presented by refunds, as we can see from the peaks, followed by um, immediate drop of the refund rate. But I think here we have some room for improvement. Also, we are very considerate about the cost of good salts because we have dropped to 36% of the revenues in February past, uh, of 2015. So this is also extremely important. In terms of visibility, I define visibility, the brand awareness. So the knowledge that the public has of our company, we are growing also extremely consistently because we, our campaigns have been successful we can see that G Search and B Search have a lot of session G Search, especially, but also have a consistent conversion rate of 6.75 and 7.19. Instead, our social campaigns have not been so successfully, only 3.21. The most important thing is that our organic and direct traffic are growing, and also the orders are growing, especially in the uh, last quarter we can see that uh, both in January and in March, the organic orders have been higher than the, um, direct, than the branded search. So this means that the public is getting to know us and they do not have to make any search. They just go online and shop at our e-commerce. These um, are these recommendations that I will give to the board of directors. Um, for sure, we have demonstrated that we are a highly profitable business, so we should launch more products because at every product launch, we have been growing sales of also the other products. We can see that especially the last product, the Hudson Bear, has created an almost 20% rate of cross-selling for all the other products. We are a data-driven company because we have seen that anytime we launch a product, we have a campaigns or we are able to um, start actions on refunds. Um, looking at the uh, trend over time, we should have ad hoc campaigns to boost sales of Love Bear in January, February, when it's the peak season, and also try to launch some campaigns on Black Friday or Christmas, or we can think about the uh, campaigns when we have low, sales to improve the sales. The paid campaigns are doing well. Since the conversion rate, even though it's smaller, is not that significantly higher than G Search, but still it's 7.2 respect to 6 point something, I would bid more on B Search. And also I would like to uh, focus on the uh, product quality since the refunds rates are still consistent. Uh, I would like to launch first client survey to explore the reasons for refunds and then cooperate with suppliers for their quality control. 